So today I'm making um, water soluble calcium. Helps fruits get big, and you can see the materials behind me here. I got a wooden stick, got a eggshells, and a pan, and a fire. So I'm gonna. Sticky, you might want to remove the inner linings out of them sometimes. You see it gets stuck like this, and then this is kind of gross. Uh, and this is the inner lining, so you may want to take that out ahead of time. In this case, we didn't. So, what I'm going to do now is put it on the oven, or not the oven, the uh, fire here. The at, a, at a low heat. So, this is like low to medium here, um, and that's what I'm going to put the pan on. And what we're going to do is cook these eggshells here for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes and I'll stir them occasionally but the idea is just to cook out the organic matter. All this egg lining stuff that's making it stick together, all this goop that's sticking it together, if you want to cook that out and a low constant heat will just kind of cook that out and then we'll be left with just the calcium that will be kind of um, like uh, slightly charred but not burnt and that will also help to activate the calcium in there. And so a half hour later, we'll see you. Alright, so as it's cooking, you can see some of them are starting to get brown. That's essentially what I'm trying to do to all of these eggs. It's just slightly brown them like that. Not cook them, not brown them, but brown them. So I gotta stir this again. It's been about, I don't know, three, five minutes, something like that. So I'm trying to stir. Yeah. yeah, essentially I'm trying to burn out all that organic matter in here. Not burn it out, but just cook it off. Okay. Turn it down to a really low heat now. But it's starting to brown up and cook well. Like a really low heat just to cook it out ever so slightly. You just want the pan to be warm, not hot. Not cooking, just heating and drying and slightly cooking. Small particulates. Browns really well. The smaller the particle size, kind of the better, as long as it's not super dust. This isn't really turning to dust, it's just turning to fine eggshells. But the more things you have, the more surface area, the more the vinegar is going to react throughout this. So in this cook-off process, we're kind of prepping it for the vinegar to break down all that calcium and off-gas CO2 and bind that into a water-soluble form of calcium. It then is immediately available to the plants. Whereas if we just scattered this eggshell out there right now, the microbes would have to do that to make their own vinegars. Not nearly as concentrated as it's hoping that we're able to do it in this ministry system. I was saying this takes about 45 minutes, and one of the reasons it takes so long is that the pan is just hot to the touch. Like I can, I can put my hand on it just for a second, and it's not burning me. I'm not like ow, but it's just, it's definitely warm, and so it's that warm thing that you're going for versus like a hot type of cook. I'm just putting it like on a warming plate here. And maybe I could do it by electricity and have it more sustainable. But right now this gas is going to cook out all these really nicely finely crushed shells now. I was able to crush them that now that that yolky stuff is out of there and it's not sticky anymore. I was able to crush it all and then let it cook like this for you know another half hour now. And I'll stir it maybe one or two more times to get it all nice in there. But basically, we're just gonna let it cook out on this warm to the touch pan. Did I cook the eggshells? And I said yes, because what's happening is you're cooking off the organic matter, but you're also transforming this eggshell into calcium carbonate. And once you make calcium carbonate, that enables us in our next step when we mix it with the vinegar 
for it to easily cleave that carb that CO2 carbonate part of the thing off and just leave the calcium behind, which then that becomes the easily absorbable water soluble calcium. And it's calcium carbonate otherwise is um, non-water soluble. And so cooking it creates calcium carbonate, non-soluble, then the vinegar makes it so it's soluble. And so yes, it's important you cook it to make it calcium carbonate first. And that's what enables the second step to make it water soluble. All right. Extreme microbe cavity. Yeah, I can. All right, so if you get a close look here, you'll see that most of the eggshells are browned out and they've been toasted. Some got a little overcooked like this one here, but most of them are pretty well browned out. And so we've effectively managed to get most of the organic matter cooked out of this. And if you feel the eggshells, it's more dramatic if you do this with a whole eggshell, but it's significantly lighter than it would have been had it not been cooked out. And that's some of the moisture that was cooked out of here as well is also left. So a superior product here. And now we're ready to take this, remove it from the heat, and put it into our jar. Eggs all cooked in here. We got some rice wine vinegar. Uh, you can also do this with banana vinegar. It's easier to make at home. Uh, this is a brand new bottle of this stuff. Um, we should definitely be making our own. And as I add this in, you'll see it immediately begin to bubble. And I did this in a big gallon container because if you do it in a smaller container, it'll bubble over the top like an erupting volcano. And so we don't want that to happen here, so we have a big jar. And the ideal ratio here is 10 parts, or one part of the eggshells being weighed to 10 parts of this volume by by. Um, so weight to volume, one part eggs to ten parts vinegar is the ideal ratio for this. But if you miss the ratio, you can add more vinegar later. It's not a big deal to get it all right at first. But if you look in there, especially as I stir it around, you'll see it's just really... Um, it should be vigorous bubbling coming out of there. And those bubbles are CO2 releasing off the calcium carbonate and freeing the calcium up to now become water soluble. So all this air, we could put a little thing up here and get a bunch of CO2 off this if we wanted to. But that's the reaction that's happening there. Where's that rice pit? And this, uh, this is going to be used half. This material here, um, the water soluble part, uh, is really important during the reproductive stage of the plant. Okay. It helps to transfer all the nutrients the plants acquired from the sun over its growing cycle and transport those and aggregate them into the plants, or into the fruits. Uh -huh. So when that... So this is fruit food? Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, yeah, it helps to harden, and it also helps to harden things off, because the calcium, you know, just like our bones kind of give us structure. When we apply that to the plant, it also helps it uh, maintain structure. Maintain, like, the cell walls? Mm-hmm.
Yeah, and our soils out here are notoriously lacking in calcium. So people tend to lime their soils. But in this case, uh, we're using the microbes in the soils and just trying to feed calcium directly to the plant. Um, you know, little shortcut the thing there. And then eventually the microbes will build up more calcium in the soil via their um, just their shells and things. solution here. So let me figure out a way. So you can see that our water soluble calcium is no longer bubbling. It looks like that we could add way more vinegar to this solution though um, because it's still not uh, you know but there's still a lot of eggshells. So I'm gonna pour it off through this nice little filter here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it tastes so weird. <laughs> That's calcium for you, baby. Uh, oh, I want to try it. So. <laughs> tastes like wine. Let's have some miso soup. Miso, chicken miso. Right, um, so here's the other one. This was given to me by Kiyahi. Oh. Try this one. Oh, my God. 
teeth are getting stronger. I feel it. Oh, that's uh, that's water soluble calcium.